and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm out here in wonderful Viking Valley Gudvangen in Njarðarheimur uh, because for this video we have gone Viking. Hmm? Uh, this is a tiny little crafting project. I needed to prepare more yarn for another project and I didn't really like the color I had so we decided to plant dye it. Uh, we've had a few days with nice weather and if there is something you need to know about Norway is if you get nice weather you make the most of it. <laughs> so we had like two days of sun and we were out and we were crafting because that's what you do. <laughs> and we had all the ingredients. We had yarn with an um, interesting Easter yellow color. Uh, we had vinegar and we had onion peels and an iron pot. And sun. So yeah, everything we needed to go outside, put on our Viking clothes and start crafting. <laughs> so you can see here all the process that we've done. Uh, it is not the proper way of plant dyeing, disclaiming out there, because we were a little bit in a rush. We started doing it very late in the day. So yeah, we didn't do it the proper way, separating the peels and whatnot. We just threw everything in the pot and saw what it would come out. So, yeah, it's not very proper. But, you know, sometimes life is about having fun and breaking the rules. <laughs> so, hope you enjoyed the video and learn how to not do things. Uh, there are a few cameos of our little neighbors here in the village, so look out for that. And hope you enjoy the video. I will see you at the end with the final result. So we're boiling the mordant water with the yarn, this Easter yellow yarn that doesn't look great. But I guess it's very appropriate and very fitting because we're, uh, we're in Easter, so there you go. <laughs> Paske gul. <laughs> so I'm here with Karen. You want to say hi? Hello. <laughs> and the chickens. We have companion. <laughs> We're outside by the fire and Viking today and doing Viking stuff. So dying, plant dying today. Uh, there is water, obviously, and vinegar in the pot. So that's what we're going to use for mordant and some rust, so we'll see what the color will turn out. Rust is not going to be the thing we're gonna die with though. It's gonna be onion peels because we have loads of them. But first we need to more than the yarn, so heat it up with the vinegar and then we can start dyeing. Of course now we'll have to wait and wait and wait and wait. So, sun is out and we're on to step number two. We let the yarn boil for a while, then we dump the vinegar water and then we put back the yarn with onion peels. Yes, I know it's all in the same pot and uh, it shouldn't be like this. <laughs> this is a very bad way of plant dyeing, but uh, we had to do it this way because uh, we're running out of time. Uh, the sun is out right now, but it won't be out for long. So we had to make some sacrifices. <laughs> but you can already tell that it's not that yellowish, horrible Easter yellow anymore. And it's already starting to change color. So that is so cool. So we'll have to let this one boil and then we're good to go. Boil, boil. <laughs> <laughs> and 
and the chickens are back too. Hello, chickens. Say hello to them. Showing the sun too. Look at that. Look at that. <laughs> hello. So you can already see the color is starting to change. Uh, it's greenish, yellowish, something, something in between. But anyway, still not the color that we started with. So that's good. All we ask for. <laughs> Hello again. It is the next day. We let this one sit overnight. Uh, by the way, it's super windy today. So I apologize in advance for any horrible sound. But uh, yes, we let this one sit overnight so it could marinate in the color. Obviously, we still have to rinse the dye out and whatnot. But look at this wonderful color. Ah, oh, I can't wait to see it. So now it's rinsing and then stretching so we can dry and whatnot. And start working with it. Woohoo! So we rinsed the yarn already and now we've stretched it using basically two poles and that's it. It's very windy today, as I said before, so it will probably dry very fast. But it's nice to finally go outside and work a little bit. We even saw the sun for a few minutes, so it feels very nice. And this is the final product. Look at this wonderful green. So vibrant, so nice, so colorful in a way. And I love, I don't know if you can see it very well because yeah, lighting is not the greatest. Let's do a little bit of a close-up here, so maybe you can see. I mean, still has a hue or a shade of yellow, especially if I look into the camera here, it definitely has. But um, it's a very nice green. Uh, yes, we got green with onion peels, which normally would give yellow, but it's in an iron pot. But look at this part, like the unevenness here. Like goes from very light green to very dark. I think it's gonna look amazing in the project I want to use it for. So I'm very very happy. Look at that. I mean it was not the proper way but with results like this it's hard not to do it this way. <laughs> uh, so it's all done. It's all dry, stretch and we put it in skeins and it's ready to rock and roll. Look at that! Ah! And that was the result of the experiment slash spur of the moment crafting activity of this time. I am very happy with the result. I think it has such a vibrant color and which I think it's because we didn't let it boil and boil and boil. It just came to a boil and then we let it simmer for not too long actually, I think it was around 40-50 minutes and I think that's why it got such a vibrant and deep color. I am quite happy too because the onion peels were not too difficult to get out of the yarn although we let everything boil in the same pot. The onion peels were pretty easy to take out uh, probably because they were not small pieces and very and they were very big chunks we just literally took them from a bowl and put them in the pot and now we need to put that yarn to work you need to stay tuned for that because we're switching crafts and we're going all the way to null binding or needle binding viking knitting i guess if you don't know what null binding is watch next the video <laughs> it's very cool so leave your comments down below about what you think, what uh, other colors you have dyed or other experiences you have with plant dyeing. I would love to read about that because I definitely want to try uh, to plant dye in other colors and in a proper way. <laughs> like this video, share with everybody, subscribe to the channel. As you may know, I cannot have a fixed schedule because some projects take longer than others. 
so make sure to click the notification bell so you know exactly when I post a video and make sure to follow me on Instagram at Virsama so you know also when I release any videos or any updates I have on my projects. I will post in a more day-to-day -day basis over there. So that's all for now. I hope you have a good time until we see each other. And in the meantime, I will be here being a Viking and crafting. Definitely.